G'day guys, how are you going? Simon, VA7, BIX, blasting down the road. I've got the GoPro doing a bit of a bird's eye view from up the top of the UV711 whip with the fabulous mag mount and I've got the DB50 in the car here scanning all the frequencies and I uh, just wanted to do a quick video just to mention what an amazing combination the three of these things are. That's the mag mount which is the best mag mount yeah, I've ever seen in my life and the uh, mags, okay there's a, a station, I got a ton of stations. The, uh, the whip is absolutely Don't second to none, fantastic. And then I'm sitting in here with the, uh, with the DB50, and then there it is. This thing is a beast. So this has got the, this has got the SO239 connector that goes onto the, well, the SO239 connector on the mag mount goes into the PL259 here. So that's a good solid fit and this is really really well built it's uh, thick it's strong it's robust and what's great is you've got the you've got the adjustable allen key capability halfway up to adjust the length of the whip all right all righty guys i've just connected the anderson poles start up the car radio goes on so we can run 50 watts and straight out of the box there's Mount Seymour 118 kilometers away <laughs> that's the Vancouver repeater 118 kilometers away but I want to go to my all-star node and say g'day to Wes there we are there so I to put it into all-star if I hold down uh, TV SQL. There's the frequency. And take this off here. VA5 MUD, VA7 BIX. Uh, you got a copy there, Wes? Roger, Roger, 5 9. I got you back in the log here. All right, mate. Well, I'm just shooting some video. You're going to be on my next video for Radio Oddity. Uh, I'm doing the whole package with the DB50 and the fabulous uh, mag mount with that incredible uh, UHF VHF antenna. Isn't that a beauty? It is a, it is a beautiful antenna. I got one myself, and uh, the quality of it, it just doesn't look like uh, it, it looks like a, it's worth a lot more, in my opinion. It's a, it's a very high class, uh, well built antenna. Thank you. Yeah, well, if you're an Estevan, wow, that's really, really good. Is, that's a, is that a handheld device? Wow, sure is functioning very well. Really working very well. Woo! I hope you're recording all this. Oh, thank you very much. All right, great. Okay, yeah, right, Simon. Okay, good, good, good. Uh, Simon, great. Yeah, I've heard you before. I talked to you once or twice. Okay, thanks a lot. Hold on to mobile. Okay. <laughs> uh, I'm on 5.2 all the time, pretty much, uh, when I'm in. And Hank's on there. He gives me a call there, so that's cool. And your signal came up, so it's a full quieting. Anyway, drive safely and uh, catch you on YouTube. <laughs> if not, at a parker on the air of the 7 mhi all right guys, well the one thing I haven't done yet is tuned the antenna and what we're going to do is the uh, the DB50 does not have a uh, SWR uh, meter in it per se, but I've got my ICOM 705 here in my grab and go kit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hook up the antenna now to the 705 and let's have a look out of the box where the SWR is. All righty, there we go guys. So I've just... Sorry about the glare on the screen. I've just hooked the 705 in. It's just got the little external PL259 connector on the outside of the, the bag here. And straight out of the box, let's have a look at the SWR. Holy smokes. Amazing. So if I go down towards the end, the lowest, SWR is about 1.2 to 1. I'm not going to even... Uh, adjust it so this is straight out of the box guys from the factory so congratulations radio oddity you've nailed it absolutely fantastic anyhow really good 
Nothing one around here anymore is shaggy dog. So if we go to the top end of the band, about the same. Fantastic. All right. Well, let's go to let's go to seventy centimeters and see what the SWR is. <laughs> Even better, 1.1 1 .1 to 1, unbelievable. All right guys, I'm gonna add this as the ending of the video. Now that I've got it all dialed in properly, I'm, uh, I've just joined this net, and look at that, 118 kilometers away. And look how strong that is, that's Vancouver. Yeah, okay, very good signal into the machine from uh, Obey. Uh, okay, great signal. Unbelievable, there you go guys. That to me, right there, sells the radio, sells the package in itself. So if uh, VHF, if VHF, UHF is uh, your jam, guys, and uh, you're getting into the market, there, uh, this is a good cheap way to do it, and the quality is second to none, unbelievable. The uh, DB50 with the 916, the M916 mag mount, and the incredible UV711. Guys, if you click up here, I did a video on the fabulous mag mount, and uh, my apologies if I was a bit misleading saying that that adapter came with the mag mount. It does not, but, and here's a big but, if you buy the MF008, which is the HF multiband whip uh, with, with taps all up and down, which I'm yet to do a video on as well, you'll see that, that that part comes with the MF008, not the mag mount. So, so apologies for that, guys, but check out the video up here if you want more information on it. I've got these terrible ridges on my roof, which are really annoying. They're about an inch and a half wide, and the MFJ uh, mag mount just couldn't cut it. I couldn't get the mag bases or the magnets wide enough to uh, to go either side of the of the ridges whereas this mag mount from radio oddity not a problem the whip works amazingly well i've got a another two meter whip uh, at home with a little mag mount and i we could i could barely hear one repeater and uh, as you heard yesterday i was uh, i had a qso on 146520 he was at least 25 30 k's away you heard mount seymour repeater in uh, vancouver which is 118 kilometers away and uh and various other stations including my all-star node so lots of fun it's a great combination i love it radio oddity have really really come up with the goods as far as a complete package for vhf uhf goes so uh there you go guys and if you liked my channel please or if this is the first time here welcome everybody g'day my name is simon the crazy aussie ham jazz and uh, if you wouldn't mind guys please hit like and subscribe because your support fuels my passion and helps keep the inspiration alive all right mates have a great day seven three and we'll catch you on the airways Woohoo!